now let us discuss about dfa which accepts a set of strings starting and ending with the same symbol over the alphabet a comma b so here the sigma is alphabet alphabet mainly contains two symbols such as a and b and now let us see the language we know that language means a collection of strings here the minimum possible string is epsilon why because here what is the constraint the string will starts and ends with same symbol we know that epsilon into epsilon is nothing but epsilon so string is starting with epsilon and ending with epsilon so we can write epsilon as epsilon into epsilon so string is starting and ending with the same symbol and the next and the next string is a so a is here we have only the string contains only one character so string is starting with a as well as ending with a next one is b so string is starting with b as well as it is ending with b next one is a a string is starting with a ending with a next one is b b string is starting and ending with b so next string starts and ends with same symbol in between we can have any number of characters we can have any number of a's and b's there is no constraint on that so here the string is starting with and ending with a likewise if we if we consider this one string is starting and ending with b so in between we can have any number of a's and b's so there is no constraint on that okay so now let us draw the dfa so here uh, uh, here uh, the initial state is q not the initial state is q not uh, we have to make q not as the final state why because here epsilon is also a valid string so without applying input symbol also we have to get the final state so q not is the final state why because it accepts epsilon next q not on a goes to q1 q not on a goes to q1 here a is a valid string so this q1 will also become final state why because here a is a valid string so q1 will becomes the final state so on q1 we can apply any number of a's so let we have a string like this a a a a is it a valid string or not it is a valid string why because string is starting and ending with the same symbol so if we apply any number of a's on q1 then it is final state only valid string only so likewise let us write second alternative that is string starts with b so if the string is starting with b then it is a valid string it is a valid string so go to q2 state already q1 is over we have to make q2 as the final state why because here b is the b is the valid string so on q2 if we apply any number of b's then it is the valid string only why because if we consider this as a string so string is starting with b and ending with b so if we apply any number of b's on q2 it is valid only next suppose assumes that we applied b on q1 b on q1 then we have to go to some state some non final state so which is q2 is already over let it be q3 let it be q3 on q3 if we apply any number of b's if we apply any number of b's then we can say that it is not the final state so we will be at q3 only why because here the string is here the string is starting with a so string will also ends with a suppose if we apply a on q3 then we will go to the final state so here what is the final state q1 is the final state so we have to go to the final state so it is very very simple if we apply b on q1 we are moving to the state q3 so if we apply any number of b's on q3 then we will be in in that state only why because after these number of b's we may have the final state so let we have a string like this so string is starting with a and after that we have let us assume that we have two a's next let us assume that we have three b's after three b's we have a so string is starting with a and ending with a so after this a we can have any number of b's so is it a valid string or not it is a valid string only so q not on a means we will go to q1 q1 on 2s means we will be in q1 state only q1 on b means we will go to q3 we have two b's if we apply any number of b's on q3 we will be in q3 state only 
if we apply a and q3 then we will go to the q1 state which is the final state so after many, many number of b's there may be a possibility that string may ends with a so likewise here also we have to draw for the same one so here if we apply a on q2 then we have to go to a state called q4 q4 if we apply any number of a's on q4 then it is uh, not the final symbol why because here the string is starting with b string is starting with b so string will also ends with b suppose if the string is ending with b then we have to go to the final state so this is for b alternative so string is starting with b so after b we can have any number of b's if we apply a and q2 go to a state called q4 uh, if we have any number of a's on q4 we will be in q4 only if we apply b on q4 then we will move to the final state that is q2 so this is about a dfa which accepts set of strings which starts and ends with the same symbol so here here we have two languages what is the first language a w a second language is b w b w means string so what is w it is a combination of it is a combination of a and b so w belongs to a comma b whole star so it accepts both these languages a w a as well as b w b string is starting with a ending with a string is starting with b ending with b 